Hi, I'm Doug Kaufman with Shop Owner Magazine, and today we're discussing with shop owner Donnie Seifer some of those things that shop owners are doing that should have been abandoned. Maybe they're doing things the old ways. Hi, Donnie. Welcome to the show. Good to be here, Doug. So uh, are there things that should be abandoned? Are there, uh, you know, what are shop owners doing that maybe should have been left by the wayside? Well, I think the big thing that you have to do as a shop owner is take a step back and look at who your customer is. And if you haven't already done so, think about you as a customer. When you go out, what are you looking for? And what kind of behavior would make you run away from a business when you do business? And so one of the things that I've sort of been observing is we have for many, many years had a don't give out a price over the phone thing, right? What's one of the most expensive things you can do as a consumer? Get your car repaired, right? They're terrified of that. And yet our thing is to be cagey and say, well, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you, right? And, and I think that our biggest worry is that they will misinterpret, and if you give a range, they'll take the lowest price and all of that. But I think at the same time, consumers, particularly women who, and men who don't understand cars, because that whole, you know, our thing where genetically, because we're male, we know about cars, man, that ship sailed, right? right? So people walk in and they're like, how much is it? I think what we need to do, and smart shop owners are already doing this, you need to change that conversation, right? The price is what the price is. And they need to know, is this a multi-thousand dollar thing I'm bringing through the door? Or is this a few hundred dollar thing I'm bringing through the door? And a lot of times that's enough to start the conversation. And then you start asking about what the real problem is. I mean, what brought you here? And I think that that's one of the big things we have to really look at. You can walk into a Home Depot and see how much an air conditioner or a heater is for your house. Now, that may not be what the professional tells you at the end of the day, but at least you know okay, I'm going to spend four or $5,000 doing this, or I'm going to spend $2,000 doing this. And I think that's, it's hard to have a good conversation with them until they kind of have an understanding of that. So I think that's one of the big things. Um, I also think that oftentimes we're selling services that we're good because we're good at it, not because it's still relevant to a customer. Hmm. And of course, we've also got what some of my friends in the industry like to call buggy whips, that are that are popping up, right? I mean, when was the last time you put a power steering pump on? You know, they're going away, right? Power steering hoses are going away. You know, if you're still working on some of the older cars, then those still have relevance. But as this stuff comes up, is that equipment still sitting, you know, right in the middle of the shop? I mean, power steering service equipment, is that still sitting right in the middle of your mix or does that need to be revisited where where you have the equipment that you're using today, every day, where it needs to be, and you've got that, you know, 5S thing uh, from Lean in your in your business and the way that it's laid out, you know, everything where it needs to be, quickly accessible, efficient, and all of those sorts of things. So there's a lot of things that I think we could be doing that really need to be focused around what does the customer need? Cars have different needs, but the customers really are all about convenience today. And if you can't answer that for them, they'll find somebody that does. Yeah. So customers are looking for the answers to their questions. They're not necessarily looking for a price over the phone. Service them when they call. Yep. And be the person that can answer those questions efficiently and politely because nobody likes to be treated rudely. Thanks a lot, Donnie. Thank you, Doug.